Welcome to this presentation about model-based testing. Um, many people ask us, so what is model-based testing exactly? Well, in this presentation, I will try to explain it uh, the way we, uh, what we call model-based testing. So at Axini, uh, the way we see model-based testing is, uh, what is it? Basically, we make unambiguous specifications in a structured and digital uh, form, uh, which is based on model formal methods, so a mathematical form. But we hide this in a domain-specific language. And nowadays, what, they, uh, what people uh, uh, used to call it is called a digital twin. So basically, we make a digital twin of your system. Why would you want to do this? Well, basically, there's a whole bunch of business reasons why you want to uh, do model-based testing. First of all, uh, uh, you want to lower your total cost of ownership. We see in practice that software takes a lot of time and money. Uh, and for the time part, you want to shorten the development cycle. Uh, you want to have short feedback loops. Where you want higher quality, higher quality deliverables with less errors, less rework. Uh, uh, so you, uh, uh, on top of that, you want to have greater insight in the technique and you want to have insights on the impact uh, of future changes. The person that we see that should be doing this is the domain expert. We think that because domain experts are often out of the loop, they are at the start of the project and at the end, when they have to accept the, the system again, um, uh, we think the domain experts should be in the loop, it should be driving the software process. And how? Well, basically with the Axini platform, it's a platform to document, to do application generation and to do automated testing. And in this part, I will focus on the automated testing. So here you see the Axini platform, you get requirements, that's the input. Then there are three, yeah, say, uh, columns. One is the modeling part, which is basically the design, the specification. You can simulate and check your model, your design, and you get your documentation. So from the model, you can generate the documentation. There's the part with test automation. We uh, provide 100% automation with, given a certain coverage criteria, 100% test coverage. Uh, be uh, careful that if the coverage criterion is really thorough, you will need a lot of test cases. But since it's 100% automated, we can, in principle, generate them all. But if it's like billions, then of course it will take a while. And after the test execution, the results are documented. The third part, which, is, which I won't get into here, is the generation of applications. And our goal, the, 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 the goal that we have in mind is fault-free software. And we understand that today fault-free software is uh, not achieve, uh, achievable yet, but we believe, uh, we, we also see other companies that then say, okay, but if it's not achievable, let's not focus on it at all. No, we believe we should focus on it. And there's like, like 30, 40 years of research with all kinds of techniques to uh, detect uh, faults earlier and to make better quality software. So I think there's still a lot of work that can be done. So every release of our platform, we try to get one step closer to fault-free software. So what is model-based testing in a nutshell? Like I uh, explained, first you digitize your specification. Once it is digitized, once you have explained it to a computer, and uh, to put it in those words, you can val validate and simulate. So you, uh, already on your design, you can check for correctness. And once you have an implementation, you can generate a full coverage test set. After you detect uh, mistakes, uh, either in your implementation or in your model or in your requirements, you can correct that, you update your model and you retest. How does this compare to other test automation steps? Well, in this table, I uh, have put the uh, items of the, the test process. So you need a specification. Traditionally, uh, this is done by hand in the design phase. In the test phase, you make a test, you predict the outcome, you execute the test and you check the outcome. And of course, it's a, if it's a manual process, then every stop, step is done by hand. If it's a script-based process, for example, um, with a tool like Selenium, then a new step comes there. You have to script the test. 
So you still have to make your test, you have to predict your outcome, you script the test, but after that, the execution of the test and the checking of the outcome are automated, which is really nice because quite often at the execution time, it's, uh, there's not much time anymore in the project, so you want to speed it up as fast as possible. With model-based testing, we do not make a specification anymore, but we make a model. And from this model, we can generate the specification documentation. And once you have the model, our tool set can automate all the steps of the test, uh, the test process. So the making of the test, the prediction of the outcome, the scripting of the test, and the execution of the test, including the checking of the outcome. And that together, uh, uh, because it's fully automated, you can get more coverage, more conf confidence because of the 100% automation. Why would you want to do that? Well, basically, that's all about return on investment. When you look at the current approach, between 40 and 60% of the time and cost and money is spent in test and integration. Uh, it's basically rework. You find bugs, you have to fix them. Either in when they're in production, you need more time and you hope to find them as quick as possible. With model-based testing, you basically half the effort of the test and integration, but because you need to model, you increase a bit of the uh, time in, in, uh, in design. And the last part is the, the benefits that you get with uh, application generation. So to recap, what is model-based testing? It's a form of test automation, but then test automation on steroids in a maintainable way. You make a digital design, a digital twin. This uh, makes sure that you have reduced test maintenance costs with more coverage. And this way you find bugs earlier with less rework which in the end uh, gives faster delivery, which especially in agile projects is really important. Um, I thank you very much for watching this presentation.